Welcome, and thank you for joining us at Our Daily Bread Ministries for this evening's meditative podcast. Tonight, we're reflecting on being temples of the Holy Spirit. As we begin, calm your heart by taking some deep breaths. Try to get as comfortable as possible. Put to one side the events of today as you ease out the tension in your body. Come now, as you are, to hear the word of the Lord. This is the place to be still before God, allowing him to fill you with his awesome presence and infinite love. Lord God, as I come aside from my day and my worries, help me focus my mind on this one profound truth. You live in me. My life is your dwelling place. Fill me with your fullness tonight, I pray. Second Corinthians chapter 6 verse 16 says, We are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will live with them and walk among them, and I will be their God, and they will be my people. Before sin entered the world, there was a garden where God walked freely with Adam and Eve. Then there was the wilderness where God made a way to dwell amongst his people again by making a carefully designed sanctuary. But the holy place of God's presence was curtained off Then Jesus came, the embodiment of the fullness of God, walking the earth in a body of flesh and blood. Suddenly, anyone could reach out and touch the very presence of the Lord Most High. But after a time, Jesus went back up to heaven Now there is a new way for God to dwell among his people. Instead of a tent or a bricks and mortar building, his temple is us. God's Holy Spirit makes his home in us. We carry the most holy place of God's presence within us everywhere we go. The most holy place where God's glory dwelt in the temple was a place priests feared to tread. Consider tonight how awesome it is that you not only have access to God's glorious presence, but that the most holy place is actually within you. As we turn to prayer, breathe deeply, working out any tension through long, slow exhales. The presence of the Lord is a place of rest and peace. Do this breathing exercise to relax your body, refocus your heart and become aware of the presence of our almighty God, who promises to hear every word on our lips 
and in our hearts. Breathe in and out. And in and out. Let's pray. Lord God, I tremble when I consider your awesome holiness and glory resides in me. Who am I to be so blessed? Yet you delight to make your home in my heart. Father, thank you for the intimacy I have with you through each day and night. When I am tempted to seek comfort in other things, help me give my heart wholly to you again. Galatians chapter 5 verse 25 says, Since we live by the Spirit, Let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you that tonight, in this moment, I am in step with your Spirit. When I awake in the morning, may I set my pace according to your leading and your word. I love being with you, and because you live in me, I can enjoy your presence in each and every moment. Thank you for this gift, O Lord my God. Amen.